Today we're getting the ghetto version of Goodman. And apparently he's called Mr. Hoodman. Let's check this crazy shit out. Hey gang, let's play headbands. No, Jeffy, I'm not gonna put a headband on. I'm not in a game. No, the game. Man, it's a game. I hold a word above my head and you give me hints until I guess the word right. That could be fun. Let's try it. All right, go. Ooh, ooh. Pencil? you have one of these in your nose right now. Boogers. What? No, it's yellow. My shirt. What? No, you can draw. Why is your it? shirt in your nose? What? No, it has a pink tip. My pee pee. What? No, you can break no. it. No. My pee pee. What? No, Jeffy, you can use it in school. AR-15 extended mag. What? No, it's a pencil. Damn, Jeffy. chill. Oh, you just say that. <sighs> Who's at the door? Hold on, Jeffy, stay right here. Hello. That's hey, a fun Martin. game. Oh, Goodman, what are you doing here? Well, I came by to tell you that I did one of those 23 and Me DNA tests and come to He's find part out black. a 99% chance of getting out of a speeding ticket and a 1% chance of them randomly searching my car. You're 1% black? That's right, n***a. You can't say that word. Yes, I can. No, I you can't. Pass. I've been saying it all day. I can't stop saying it. I was singing n***a in pairs in the car on the way over here. I think you have to be a certain percent block to say that word good. I guess wow, so, at least Marvin. 25. After all my people have been through, we can't say one word? I guess I'll just take my reparations in the form of your house payment. I don't have my house payment, Goodman. Wow, the white man trying to bring a brother down. Speaking of brother, bro. the DNA test also said that I have a brother from another mother. You have a brother? I sure do, and I invited him over to your house. Why my house? What does he look well, like? because I'm rich, and I want to meet him. And I don't want to invite him to my house, because then he's going to see how filthy rich I am, and then he's going to try to mooch off me. Okay, exactly, so, so you gotta him here, bring him here, here in this poor neighborhood, anyway. this dump. I know, but I want him to think I'm as normal as possible. So what I want you to do is, is to create a nice steak dinner tonight. What normal people don't eat steak dinners every night? Well, I'm not talking about filet mignon, Marvin. I'm talking about an Applebee's sirloin. Okay, I'll ask Chef Peter. That's still expensive for people steaks. like Marvin. Right. Thanks, Marvin. I'm coming in. Goddamn, girl. He's beating yeah, it. it like that. Like Keep beating that, it, bro. Chef oh, hey, Marvin. You want to know what good pasta sound like? Mm, yeah, nice and wet, but it's super tight. You know what I'm talking about? What are you even cooking? Oh, I'm making yeah. chicken alfredo. Don't you know the Pentagon is the most secure building in the but. United States with cameras all around it, but only caught four blurry frames of the plane crashing with no impact what of the wings on 9-11? Yeah, I know it's a super long name, but damn, it's going to be delicious. Well, I was wondering if you could make us, you know, like a fancy steak dinner tonight. Come on, you know who you're talking to? The shop penis. Of course, I can <laughs> make a fancy dinner. You know what? I thought he said no. Okay, well, can you just make a steak dinner? Not too fancy, but just a, two steaks, please. Well, I can do it. I can do it. Go ahead. Leave it up to PP, baby. I got you, okay? Bro, he's well, acting over the top. The big fake ones. Man, I really I did myself this time. It looks this weird. Steak dinner looks delicious. Where was it looks delicious, called? but oh, it looks the freezer weird. freezer section of Walmart, duh. Hmm. And where was the broccoli caught? Also the freezer section of Walmart. Did you whack off in my Caesar salad? No, that's the ranch, you silly baby. Oh, shit. Did you even use the right dressing on my Caesar? Look, this is a Chef PP certified meal. Definitely going to give you diarrhea at the end of it. <laughs> that's Marvin. So is that Marvin. good? <laughs> oh, that must be my brother at the door, Marvin. I'll answer What's his brother's no. name? Hoodman, Can't right? Door too fast. Poor people answer the door fast because they have nothing better to do and they don't have a job like you. Rich people don't answer the door at all because they have their butler do it because they're too busy working. So we can't answer the door too fast and we can't answer the door too slow. We don't want to seem too rich or too poor, so we'll make them wait. Wow. He just rang the doorbell again. Make him wait. He's knocking. Make him wait. Really hard. Make him wait. Wow, you don't okay, wait yeah. that long. Hello? Hello! You must be my brother, Mr. Goodman. I'm Mr. Hoodman. Excuse me for one second. Marvin, I didn't know where you were. He's black. You just found out Is he rich? Black. Well, then he must be the other 99%. Hello, <laughs> my name's Mr. Goodman. I am lower middle class. What do you do for work? Oh, I build Section 8 houses and sell it to the government for a huge profit. Oh, shit, uh, he's my rich. My portfolio's worth like $4 billion. Marvin, he's rich as fuck. I, I was just kidding about being lower middle class. I'm totally a billionaire, too. Are you sure? Why would you invite me here? Well, because I wanted to show you that I, too, help out the poor. <sighs> this place <laughs> reeks of poverty. I know. It's Marvin. Damn, now. they have something in common. Here. I don't live on this farm. Thank God, I didn't want my brother to be poor. Yeah, and you should see the dinner he provided for us. It's Walmart shrimp. Ew, poor. Oh, they are brothers. Grown Walmart broccoli. Ew, poor. <laughs> Laughs in high credit score. Come on. Oh, indubitably. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Hoodman. Please don't judge me on this poor meal. I wouldn't even feed this to the homeless. Me either. Oh shit! Judge, what the hell? Dinner time. Woof. Woof! Here you go, boy. Dinner time. Uh, sir, I must say that I hate that you have me crawl around and act like a dog. 
this is an English short hair. He's like 900 years old and dog years. I think he's also a little bit retarded. Wow, what, <laughs> what a the nice fuck? mutt. Can I pet him? No, he bites. But when he shits on the floor, I rub his nose in it. That's because you don't give me a bathroom! Well, you had a litter box, but you fucked that up, didn't you, bud? Well, you didn't give me a scoop to clean it out with! You made me use my hands! And now where do you shit? My hands! Good boy. Now eat your Walmart shrimp and broccoli. Oh, it's going to give me the runs! I feel bad for your hands. <sighs> Sir, is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, you can get this shitty food out of my fucking face and bring me and my brother something more appetizing! Y your brother? Yes, that's my he brother! He found so out that he's gonna be working, working for a black oh, man! Very well, sir. Alright, here you are, sir. Fried chicken from Bro. Kentucky and nah. green jammers. Can't for violate him brother. like that. Charge, you racist fuck! But, but, sir, this is what you usually tell me to get when we have. Hush! Very well, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Hoodman. Chives was born in Alabama during those times. I was born in London. Spanking! <sighs> Very well, sir. Go beat him. Can I do the honors? Oh, please, yeah, go ahead. You prejudiced bastard! How oh, shit! KMC, even though it's a delicious oh, meal! Oh. Now, Chives, you go shit in your hand and think about what you did. But, sir, I don't have to go. Miralax, now! <sighs> the whole bottle? Yes, and I want you to cup it in your hand and bring it to me and show me what you did. Very well, sir. He'll be gone so for a while. You need to teach your butler better manners. See, my butler, El Salvador, would never disrespect El Salvador? Me. El Salvador? Yeah, El Salvador. Would you like to meet him? Sure. Oh, well, Probably Salvador. like next level. Bring your Mexican ass in here right now, Vamanos! The Totora the Explorer. You call for me, Mr. He's kind of shit, bro. Smart. You hired your gardener to also be your butler so you didn't have to pay two people. I like it. Exactly. I either pay him in pesos or queso. Nine times out of ten, it's queso. I like it, queso. And cheese and beef. No, no way. I have a female model of this, and she rides around in my Lamborghini and gives me road things. Oh, I need the female model. Speaking of the Lamborghini, I was thinking about buying me one. Can I test drive yours? Sure, anything for my rich billionaire brother. Here you go. Oh, thanks, What brother. if he fucks <laughs> it up? May I converse in Mexican with your help? Oh, definitely. El Salvador, my brother wants you to speak your native tongue, horchata. Okay, so what you want to talk about? De Donde El Salvador. No, I from Minnesota. Bye. Minnesota. In Arizona. Right. So how long have you been working for Mr. Hoodman? Uh, Mr. Hoodman picked me up from Home Depot today and gave me like one hundred dollars to pretend to be a gardener. Wait. So you don't really work for Mr. Hoodman? No, we Uber here. The car he say something about him is gone. The car and Stanley get for scrap metal. What the fuck? Hey, are you going to finish this chicken? De Donde El Salvador. That mean like, no. Bro, go get him! No, call me El Pollo! I don't know what you're saying. I don't. No, Ron Haas! Marvin! Marvin! Oh shit! Robbed, help me! Who robbed you? I've my never seen him act Mr. like that. What he steal? He stole my Lamborghini, and I should have known he was gonna steal my Lamborghini by the color of his suit. Because he had the exact same suit as me, and I know that the guy who made my suit told me that he was only going to sell those suits to me. So that means he stole the suit too. And I also should have known that he was going to steal the Lamborghini because he asked to borrow the Lamborghini. Ew! Why would you let him? Everyone who's rich knows that the first thing you do when you get money is buy a Lamborghini. Okay, well, it, uh, how do you know he stole it? Because he hired some guy from Home Depot, and that guy told me everything. Okay, well, so if you really think he stole it, you need to call the cops. I'm gonna call the cops, Marvin. Ugh. Next time someone says, don't judge a book by their cover, I'm gonna tell them they're full of shit. Because you the gotta judge a book by his cover. The, about, the title and everything. <laughs> hey there, did somebody call the police? I did, I'd like to report what a theft. What police is okay. that? Okay, well, what was stolen? My Lamborghini. What oh, happened nice to the other guy? guy? Nice guy. Can you give me a description of the suspect? Yeah, well, he's black. And... Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. Wait, did he have both his arms? Yes. Dispatch, we got a suspect armed and dangerous. Black. Don't worry, sir. Oh, We're going to get your car back. But it may smell like marijuana. Well, just please give me my car back, please. Will do, sir. There's someone at the door. I'll get it. Uh, Goodman, it was your brother. Oh, him! Him! That's the guy! Yeah, all right. You're under arrest. For what? For stealing this man's Lamborghini. 
and making it smell like marijuana. What? I would never. He let me borrow his car. Is this true? Well, yeah, but El Salvador said that he was going to steal my Lamborghini and sell it for parts. Damn it. That racist Mexican. He always tells Joseph and makes me look like I'm a bad guy. Where's the ice? I'm going to get his ass deported. Wait, he's an illegal? Get your ass over Oh, shit. So who's going to jail and who's not? Get your ass back over that wall. Hey, yeah. No. Wow, Mr. Goodman, I can't believe you what actually would believe that I, I would steal your car. Well, I it's not my fault. Rice and Beans told me you were going to steal my Lamborghini. Rice and, and Beans, what the hell? I can't believe you would think that low of me. Uh, I guess I'll see you in a couple of years when you actually mature. No, Mr. Hoodman, no. Marvin, help. It was Marvin, for the best. Sir, I have shut in my hand. Good why, boy. Why would he shit his hand? Because he doesn't have a litter box. What in the world? What is your favorite SML video of all time? I like the one when Junior goes to Toys R Us and Chuck E. Cheese. I think I I think that was a classic one, the summer school one. But yeah, that is Mr. Hoodman. He is I don't know, man. I don't know how to describe him, but he is He's a pretty cool rich man, man. Yeah. Thank you.